All right, so I think we are live, which is great. So this is our first go with Restream, uh, which we're now using for our live streaming. So wish us luck today. Um, in a moment, I am going to screen share and I'm going to show you guys Sourcebreaker. So uh, Sourcebreaker, for those of you that don't know it, um, basically it is going to be a product where it just houses all of the various different job leads and things like that, you know, across the whole beautiful World Wide Web, and it pulls it all into one centralized location. It offers so much more than just that, though. It really offers a deep dive into companies, company profiles. It has email finders, recommended phone numbers. It has relevant news to it. It can showcase all the jobs that they're looking for right now. And you can look as well, uh, do like an aggregator search as well as like a source breaker search. So for companies that source breaker knows really good information about, but then you can also do the aggregator search, which is obviously all the companies because source breaker is continually learning and adding the information in. There's super cool features as well around sort of the Intel functions. So we're thinking like Crunchbase Pro sort of information. So about sort of funding rounds and that sort of thing. Basically, it's just super duper cool. Um, it is like most rec tech though, a product which to get the most out of it, you need to have a system in place a process in place um that you're going to do to be able to maximize the most of it and, and do that will i love your comment about barry yes i am in backdoor barry uh intro protects office so big shout out to backdoor barry if anyone has any fee disputes highly recommend it um anywho so, right, I will screen share in a second. Also, this is just to let you guys sort of know moving forward, we're gonna be doing this once a week on a Tuesday now, Tuesday 2 p.m. Uh, and it is going to be here for you guys and it's gonna be whether it's a demo, so it could be me doing a demo of a product that we use, could be me doing a demo with one of the partners showcasing their product, or it could be a live show. So whether that's Andy or Delta hosting the live show, I'm talking about whether it's a you know solution or um, an advisory or service or something like that. So let's have a look at Sourcebreaker. Okay, perfect. So hopefully you can see my screen here, which it looks like you can. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into Sourcebreaker. I won't be able to see the chat whilst I'm in Sourcebreaker, so apologies if you're chatting away to me and. I'm, I'm not coming back. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go on the whole thing. So basically, when you log into Sourcebreaker, this is going to be what you see when you first come in is your dashboard section. It's going to showcase all of the recent searches that you've done or that your team has done. And this is going to then show you as well whether or not you've created what's called a source spot. So a source spot is basically, I've run a search. I really like this search. This is going to be a search that I'm doing often and that I um, therefore want to get leads messaged to me about. So that's what I want to go ahead and have and save as a source spot. So in regards to the searching functionality, nice and easy, very Boolean based, and there's some really cool things in here. So for example, if I think of a job title, say for us in scale, so I've got business development manager, might help if I spell correctly. Perfect. So what's quite cool in Sourcebreaker is that it's not just gonna say, oh, okay, it's a BDM title. It's gonna actually offer me and say, right, business development manager, do you want it to be part of BT titles? So do you want it to also recognize and pick up account executive, sales manager, sales director, CRO, country manager, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, I do. Otherwise, I might want it to just have be more of like sales and business development. I could have it that I want it to include enterprise sales if that's more of what I'm looking for. So it's really cool that it can pick up all of these different things. And then what it can also do as well is, so say if I went, God, I want like loads of those because yeah, my BDM might be titled lots of different things. I could then choose the second option and I can link them together. So that way it knows when it's doing the search that I want this and this. So it's really cool. Keywords. So for us here, you know, that's where I start to think about what's the type of clients that we work with. So, you know, we would work with companies in sort of cloud services. 
So it's going to say to me, okay, do you want cloud services? Do you want it to be part of tech? So do you want it to include SaaS and AI and big data? Yes, I do. I might even think, hey, like we do a lot in SaaS. So again, I can just have SaaS or I could have SaaS as cloud, SaaS as tech, enterprise SaaS. Um, these are my specific lists. I'll show you that in a minute. But this time I'm going to just say SaaS as part of clouds, for example. And again, I'm going to link them together. Then I might go, all right, perfect. So I'm looking for a BDM um, or I want a BDM job because I've got a great BDM candidate perhaps and I need someone who's in cloud services or SaaS and I'm going to go ahead because my guy is in um, New York. You know, and it really can be UK, USA. That's predominantly where we're looking at. But, you know, they're really totally international, which is brilliant. So I'm going to go ahead and do New York, keep the radius as 35. You know, for me, I'm not going to focus in on the job types. You'll see here that I can do search Vinceri, search leads. It is integrated definitely into Vinceri and Bullhorn. There is other integrations as well. Um, those are the ones that I'm kind of most familiar with. So we're going to go ahead and hit search leads. And then it's going to pull me up and say, right, these are the source breaker leads that I found. Um, and then you'll see in a moment as well. So 1,007, wow, massive. Then there's also the option to have a look at the aggregator leads. So aggregator leads, again, are these gonna be um, the extra companies as well that Sourcebreaker doesn't necessarily then have sort of that company profile built out of, and you'll see 2,992. I have gone for a very broad search. I've not niched it down, obviously you would if it was you, because you want it specific. But what you can do as well is you have this option over on the left hand side to get more specific here in regards to, OK, I only want to see people who have posted jobs in the last seven days, you know, and then you might go, I only want to see companies that are, you know, 200 to 500 because I don't want to do any of the big players. So then it's bringing it down, it's bringing it down again. Great, so I've got 15 jobs in the last seven days that are between 200 and 500 people. Awesome. You'll notice here it's got this lovely big option to say add to Vinceri. So if you are integrated into Vinceri or Bullhorn, you have the option to add that lead, that information straight through into your uh, ATS system, which is awesome. You also have the option, you'll notice over here, to say what's called search candidates. So with that, basically, Sourcebreaker can go through Vinceri, Bullhorn, whatever your ATS is, if it integrates with Sourcebreaker, and it will go, okay, you're looking for uh, a BD you know, person in tech and cloud um, SaaS, Right, I'm going to have a look through your database and I'm going to search your database against these type of jobs and pull out people that I think are relevant. So I'm going to actually take what's already in your database candidate wise, I'm going to utilize that and then I'm going to match that and say, hey, you might want to look at these people because they could be relevant for these types of positions. So it's really cool about making the most out of your database as well. So say I see this job with Invest Cloud and I'm like, oh, this looks pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and view the job. So it's gonna give me the job posting here. It's gonna tell me what they've written about. It's gonna give me the option to go ahead and view the original. I can add it as a lead. I can add it to my pipeline. I can also go, okay, Invest Cloud, that looks cool. I wanna know a little bit more about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the company profile. So when I click in and I go view company profile, this is going to be where Sourcebreaker tells me whatever it knows about Invest Cloud. So I have the option to save it as a favorite if I realize this is a company that I'm really going to want to target. I can go ahead and see what jobs they got on, like what are the entirety of the jobs that they're you know, looking for at the moment. So they've got a sales uh, exec in FinTech in New York, but oh wow, they've also got one in LA too. Cool, well maybe my counterpart recruits for LA or maybe I have another candidate in LA. It's also gonna give me an idea of what it recommends that the email is. And I can even go ahead and if I find the hiring manager or who I think the hiring manager is on LinkedIn, you know, I could put their name in there, Bob Jones, and it's gonna say, okay, we recommend that his email for Invest Cloud is this. On top of that, it also has the really cool functionality that it's hooked up to in, in the news. And I believe this is backed by Pager. I'm not sure, but I believe it is. Um, anyway, and that's gonna say, right, so this is where, you know, by the way, like 
this relevant news might relate to InvestCloud. So say I'm thinking, okay, I want to reach out to someone. I don't want to just go straight in with like the, hey, I see you've got a sales exec in fintech role. Like I might want to go, oh, hey, my God, you know, great um great results face or great first quarter results uh it looks like you guys are hiring loads you know did you know that we're a specialist within your space and i have this awesome candidate whatever you your approach wants to be but it gives you something different to kind of work off of so anyway so i look at that i go find my person that's brilliant and this is where source breaker works really well you know if you're then sort of I suppose managing a process or for me having my VA manage the process because I'm all about outsourcing and using VAs so I would have my VA come in log into Sourcebreaker run the searches go into invest cloud in this example go and find that hiring manager for the sales exec role in fintech go add them into a campaign an outreach campaign so whether you're using loxo and that has it built in or you're using lemlist or reply to io or quick mail or whatever sort of um product you're using but you know you get a campaign going like hey mr hiring manager you know here's a great candidate for the sales exec role and then you've got a follow-up automatically ha happening hey you know here's an interesting article i saw or hey congrats on your first quarter results or i'm following up again about this candidate what do you think if they're not right i've got others or connecting with them on LinkedIn because you want a sequence happening because a lot of people fall down on the sort of follow-up side. So this is where it's like Sourcebreaker is brilliant for bringing this info to you, but then you need to utilize it sort of correctly um, to make sure that you're maximizing it. So you'll see here it recommends all these lovely people to me and I've got all these cool sort of um, you know information about them you know I can do all this funky stuff for them it's awesome so I might want to go I really like this search you know I'm gonna go ahead and create my source bra so then I go ahead and create it I say whether I want it to just have my source breaker leads or whether I want it to have the aggregator leads do I want it to be all jobs job boards or employers do I want to get daily alerts on it you know because I might want to just log into Sourcebreaker. More chances than not, I want to get alerts about it. What you will also notice, or what I referenced, sorry, earlier, rather than you should have noticed, is this company list. And this is something I think is really awesome about the system. So say you are strategically targeting um, new clients or a new area, or you have data, for example. Say you've identified, your, you've market mapped and gone, right, there's these 200 companies, and I really, really want to get in with them. I want to find out when they're hiring. I want to know exactly what they're looking for. You can send to Sourcebreaker and say, hey, Sourcebreaker, I've got this list here. I want a specialist created list to find out when these people are hiring. This is what I want it to be called. Can you save it for me? So we did a perfect example. You know, we're looking in the HR tech arena. So I said to Sourcebreaker, here you go. I've got a HR tech European list. So I found this list of 200 plus companies, you know, um, I want to know anytime that they're hiring, can you create a specific list for me? They said, yep, no worries. They've saved the list for me. So I don't obviously need to know if they're hiring for an accounts person. I want to just know if they're hiring for salespeople. So I could go ahead and put in sales, sales and business development titles, you know, and then I can put the location as, you know, perhaps as a good one good. And I can go ahead and search that. And that's going to be really specific against that company list that I wanted to target. So I can create a source bot about it. Lovely, it's telling me there is a new one. But there's aggregator leads. So you can, you know, create and get very specific on that, you know. So you can sort of say, right, I don't even want to just do it for new business development. I want to know my existing clients. So you might say to Sourcebreaker, hey, you go, here's a list. And Sourcebreaker keeps this obviously hidden from other Sourcebreaker users. So it's not like other people are accessing these lists. You know, hey, Sourcebreaker, here's a list of my 200 clients. You know, I want to know any time that they're hiring because I want to be able to get on the phone to them or let them know straight away. So then they can save those company search lists for you. You can save them as a source bot. You'll notice here in um, 
your source bot sections when you come in. These are going to be all the ones that you've saved. This is going to be whether it tells you any of those new candidates that are relevant for these type of jobs in your ATS system. These are going to be, have you got any new leads? So, you know, there's 107 new leads in here for this one, our HR Tech USA companies. So this is going to be where it tells you, okay, you need to go in and check these people. You need to see who's hiring and do something with them. So it's really, really cool. Uh, there is the option as well to go in and have a look at companies. So when we talk about companies that you saved as your favorites, so say, again, you know, as you're going through the leads, you go, wow, this person's really cool. It looks like they're hiring loads. I want to save them as a favorite. I want to have a really quick and easy way to get into them. You can do it that way. Say if you are in the startup world or anyone that's in, you know, clients that are in that kind of arena, then the an added feature is this Intel section, which is really cool. So for us in the technology sales space, this is awesome because I can literally come in here. I can filter by country. Um, I can do additional filters as well for funding rounds and things like that. But I can literally find out, OK, this company at this location, it had a seed round of funding. This was when it was announced so literally a couple of days ago. And this is how much money they raised. I can go ahead and go to their website and go to LinkedIn. I can try and call them. So I could go and have a look at this company and say, OK, great. Wow. You know, um, I want to find out like or I want to message Credit Verso and say, hey, massive congratulations on the, the seed round. You know, how are you going to go with mapping out your growth plans or your hiring plans? Is there something I could help with? Um, so you can see here, you can do it in sort of the last 12 months, money raised, or your different types. And you'll notice here as well, so there's some of these ones that are sort of um, darker colors. So these are the ones that aren't necessarily within Sourcebreaker. Um, so this is where it's offering you those other options. But you will notice here, like Neo, for example, Sourcebreaker has recognized this. Oh, we know about Neo. Like we have a company profile for them. And look at that 128 jobs. I mean, 325 million wowzers. So I can go ahead and click in on Neo. I can go in and see, right, okay, how many employees has it got? What sort of jobs are they looking for? Where are they looking for these jobs? You know, here's an email finder. You know, this is irrelevant news. Like, these guys are massive. Okay, cool. I want to go ahead and target them. I want to find out more about them. So it's a really super, super immensely useful tool. It's going to house, I'm going to jump back in here. Sorry, let me come off screen share and I can see some of you. We are live. I love it. <laughs> You're saving this. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so basically this is a ridiculously useful tool so that you're not having to set up various different job alerts for all your different places. I mean, for us in tech sales, you know, we would be on LinkedIn, we'd be on Indeed, we'd be on Angel, we'd be on all these other different ones. This is literally like a one-stop shop place where it's going to be, I just get all my jobs, I get all the company information, I know exactly what type of email format they have, I know what relevant news is there for them, I can target my, you know, uh, market map that I've done. I can target them, I can find out the Intel function, and then I can take all of that information and I can really use that in a process to go and reach out to the market and, you know, extend out my business development opportunities. So I can go and do those um, messaging sequences. I can reach out on LinkedIn. I can reach out on email or text or whatever your approach is. I can also, if I have that integrated into Vinceri or Bullhorn, utilize it in my system to make sure that I'm getting that data in there. So I'm adding the leads in or I'm searching my database with my candidates. So that lovely, you know, base of information that you build in your database, you know, that is being fully maximized. So, okay, like these are the jobs that source of break are finding for me. Here's a load of candidates that might be relevant. So all in all, it's been a awesome tool for us in our scale international business. It has really been a huge differentiator. It has led to multiple placements uh, and coupled with that process that my VAs run, it has just been a game changer. So I wanted to do a quick 
show for you today, highly recommend that you get an in-depth demo with Source Breaker. Um, I've obviously just shown you a super high level version. Um, I've just shown you the bits that we kind of focus in on and then kind of giving you that broader understanding about how we utilize the product for us. But honestly, for the full bells and whistles, because it can definitely do a lot more and probably a lot more streamlined than, you know, how I, I'm sort of communicating it here. But um, I really recommend that you go and get a demo. If you're part of the required network as well, remember that you do get preferential pricing. So make sure to request the demo and your discount code through the required website. And the guys over at Sourcebreaker will make sure that you are well taken care of. So look, anyone has any questions any time about it, please don't hesitate to message me. I'm always happy to help people. And yeah, look forward to next week's live show. Um, there'll be information about who's coming on, what product we're showcasing a couple of days before, and we'll be doing some promo on about it. So remember, Tuesdays, 2 p.m., moving forwards, check in here at the Required Network. Thanks, everyone, and have a 